If we take a look at the calendar, we can see tomorrow, May 10th, we have a lot of content. This video, we're specifically going to be talking about Team Affinity Chapter 3, 99 overalls. Each team is going to get a Hyper Series 99 overall as part of Team Affinity Chapter 3. But we also have another new legend coming tomorrow. I wonder who that new legend is going to be. Who do you want it to be? Let us know down in that comment section. I feel like there's so many possibilities, so many guys that I would like to see added to the game. We also have a double XP weekend starting, a new ranked season, a new battle royale program, a new event, as well as a Mother's Day Conquest map. So a lot to go over, but let's go ahead and talk about Team Affinity Chapter 3 and take a look at the cards that we know so far we're going to be getting now before we go to the team affinities the 99 overall reveals we got a couple cards revealed a few cards actually on mlb the show's twitter and the new event tomorrow we get a 93 hyper series tyler rogers at 10 wins and i'm really interested to see if the 20 win reward is going to be a 99 because with a 93 at 10 i would kind of expect like anywhere from a 95 to 97 at 20 but it's also surprising to me if we're getting 99s through Team Affinity, they wouldn't give us a 99 in the event. So I'm really interested to see who the 21 reward is, but we know that the 10 win is a 93 Tyler Rogers. And then we also got to look at the Season Awards Drop 7 program. Now, not with this drop, not this week, but next week, a week from Friday, we get our second Lightning Player of the Year, a 99 overall Lightning card. I'm really interested to see who that's going to be, but I was pleasantly surprised to see a 99 overall in the season awards program i'm sure there's going to be 99s in the season awards pack in the shop but they're actually giving us a 99 in the program so that was pretty nice to see a jerkson profar card right here in addition to the 95 overall tops now but this is our look at the season awards drop seven program and it's cool to see a 99 overall in a program and now for the team affinity season one at chapter three reveals i think at least as of recording this video we have four of the six divisions revealed starting with the american league east and i feel myself turning into a little bit of a yapper today i'm gonna have some opinions some maybe questions for y'all and the first thing that i want to say is does anyone else feel like we kind of get the same guys sometimes for certain teams through team affinity over the years for the blue jays i feel like we're always seeing tom hankey through team affinity now i'm not the most knowledgeable baseball fan especially when it comes to teams other than the cardinals so i don't know what other legends what other cards even just current players i don't know what other cards they could be given the blue jays but is Tom Hankey like a super duper fan favorite? I feel like the Blue Jays are always getting Tom Hankey cards. But I also feel like I never see anybody using or anybody even excited about Tom Hankey as a Blue Jays card. But for the Red Sox, we get Wade Boggs. He's another one of those guys where I feel like we see him a lot for the Red Sox. I've never been the biggest fan of Wade Boggs cards. I think he's one of those kind of high contact, low power type of guys. Never one of my go-tos. His swing's pretty good, but just never one of my favorites. But he's the Red Sox 99 Hyper Series. I do really like Brad Miller's swing. He's part of that no batting gloves team build. And I might see myself using this card a little bit. Left-handed swing. I'm a fan of Brad Miller's swing. But when they're giving us Brian Roberts in the same program, I think I would probably use Brian Roberts over Brad Miller. Brian Roberts, especially last year, I think it was, had a retro finest card, maybe as one of the collections. And I loved that card. It made me fall in love with Brian Roberts' swing. So depending on the attributes, that's going to be also what it comes down to, how the cards are looking, how their stats are, their attributes are. But right now on paper, I think Brian Roberts is going to be the card I'm most excited for from this division. And then DJ LeMahieu is going to be the Yankees. I've never been a big fan of DJ LeMahieu cards. His swing's not one of my favorites, but that's going to be the American League East. And I would say Brian Roberts 1, Brad Miller 2, Wade Boggs 3, Tom Hankey 4, DJ LeMahieu 5. Maybe switch Boggs and Hankey, but... For me, it's easy Roberts number one, easy Brad Miller number two for my first choices. Next, we have the National League East. I feel like I'm always seeing Mike Schmidt for the Phillies, and I absolutely hate Mike Schmidt's swing. But for the Nationals, we get Andre Dawson. I like Andre Dawson cards. 
I don't know if I'll use him compared to maybe some other outfield cards, but I do like him and I like his swing. Gary Carter has never been one of my favorite catchers, but he's the Mets card. Tom Glavin, he will definitely be in my rotation. I've been a big fan of Tom Glavin cards in the past. I'm looking forward to using him. Sandy Alcantara, I don't think I've used Sandy cards too often, but with 99s dropping through team affinity i'm probably going to be replacing most of the cards on my team in my rotation and i'm definitely going to give this 99 sandy alcantara a try and then we also have mike schmidt for the phillies i'm not a big fan of mike schmidt's swing i feel like the phillies are always getting mike schmidt it seems like to me but i would say in this division probably number one for me tom glavin and depending on how his card looks, how he feels, maybe to Sandy Alcantara, but definitely it could be flip-flopped, but Andre Dawson would be number three or have him and Sandy flip-flopped. And then I guess Gary Carter four, Mike Schmidt probably five for me in this division. And then we're going back to the American League and two cards where I feel like we're almost always getting these through Team Affinity. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it just seems that way to me, but Jeff Bagwell for the Astros always seems to be showing up. And then same with Edgar Martinez for the Mariners. I was really hoping we might get a 99 overall Ken Griffey Jr. from this. But we got Edgar Martinez and Jeff Bagwell, one of my least favorite swings. Edgar Martinez always has good hitting attributes, but I don't think I like his swing. I always end up doing not that great with him. Ian Kinsler, I've tried using his cards in the past, just haven't had too much success so I would say easily in this division, just right away, by far, I'm most excited for personally. Obviously, those are my own opinions, but J Jim Edmonds, I would say probably number one as a Cardinals fan. You know, I love Jim Edmonds' swing in previous years. It is an Angels card, but I'll definitely be using him. I've liked to swing a lot in previous games. And then Blake Trinan, always one of my favorite relievers. It might even be a tie for that number one spot between Jim Edmonds and Blake Trinan. Just because one is a hitter, one is a pitcher. Like, Blake Trinan is guaranteed a spot in my bullpen, and I think Jim Edmonds is guaranteed a spot on the team. Probably as a starter, but at least on the bench, I would assume max power and contact versus righties. We'll have to wait and see. It really comes down to, for a lot of these cards, what the attributes are looking like. But Blake Trinan, Jim Edmonds, number one and number two. And then there's a pretty get big gap between... And I would say, I don't know, man, three, four, five, like Ian Kinsler, three, Edgar Martinez, four, Jeff Bagwell, five. I'm not really a fan of any of these guys. I haven't done well with their cards in the past, so I don't really see myself using them, but who knows? Maybe I'll try them out. Maybe their swings will feel different for me and I'm going to be 24. And this is actually my first time seeing the National League Central. And I think he's technically a new legend this year, but with Jack Flaherty, as the team affinity chapter one card joe tory team affinity chapter two and now ryan ludwig team affinity chapter three like i don't want to say it feels like a slap in the face but really jack flaherty joe tory and ryan ludwig that's who the cardinals are getting for the first three chapters of team affinity I don't know, man. Like, to me, that just seems like an L for Cardinals fans. I'm a Cardinals fan, and it seems like an L to me. Uh, I'm sure this Ryan Ludwig card will be good. These are 99s. I, I would assume they have to be good, but I definitely would not have had Ryan Ludwig as my first choice for the 99 overall that I wanted from Chapter 3 of Team Affinity. Cubs get Kerry Wood. A lot of people love Kerry Wood cards. I'm not the best with him just because his control is a little bit lower. Uh, so I don't know if I'll end up using him, but he's got high velocity. He's definitely tough to hit with that velo. He's got a lot of pitches. I think they normally have a lot of break on him. So I think people will be excited about Kerry Wood. Eric Davis has a great swing. I'm a fan of Eric Davis's swing. I actually used, I think, maybe a retro finest version of Robin Yount last year. And I liked his swing more than I thought I would. And then Willie Stargell, left field card. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's usually not the fastest or the best on defense, so maybe more of a bench DH type of guy, but I like his swing. I just don't know if I would use him as a starter, maybe somebody off the bench, and if Jim Edmonds is already on my bench, though, he might not get used. And just ranking this division right away, as a Cardinals fan, it kind of hurts to say, but probably Eric Davis, number one most excited for. Robin Yount number two, depending on how he does for me, probably Kerry Wood three, and it's going to come down to the attributes. I don't know what to expect from a 99 Ryan Ludwig, but 
for me, it's going to be a toss up between Ludwig and Stargell, number four and number five. I just really don't know what to expect. And I think the attributes are going to be what that deciding factor is. But kind of sucks to say that my favorite team in Chapter 3 of Team Affinity is one of the cards that I'm least excited for from the division. I would love to see which cards you're looking forward to most out of the ones that we've had revealed. Maybe your thoughts, your favorite team. How have you been feeling about the cards I've gotten for Team Affinity this year? All of that's coming tomorrow as well as a lot more that we can see on the calendar. But drop a like, I guess, if y'all enjoy the videos or ex are excited for the content drop. Feel free to subscribe for daily uploads. And thank you as always for watching. I hope y'all have a great rest of your day.